guys and welcome back to another review video. So today we are doing the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Hydration Gel. This is full size. It is also $88. So um just saying, uh <laughs> this particular product definitely a spendy one. I have some thoughts about that. But been using this for a little while. I've kept the box handy for this just because I knew I'd be doing this video. But on the back there's a quote that says, This lightweight gel moisturizer is great for all skin types and can be used morning and night when you want lasting hydration without the heaviness of a traditional wrinkle cream. How to use AM and PM, apply an even layer to clean skin. And it's like got the usual warnings of avoid contact directly with the eyes. If contact occurs, rinse with water. If irritation develops and persists, consult a doctor. So, our ingredients. We have water, dimethicone, glycerin, propanediol, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, sodium chloride, dimethicone slash PEG 10 slash 15 cross polymer, betaine, xanthoxylum, bungianum fruit extract, I have no idea what that is, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, capril hydroxy or hydroxamic acid, sodium hyaluronate, copperol acetate, trisodium ethylene. Yeah, ethylene, diamine, disuconate, methyl glucoside phosphate, disodium acetyl gluco or glucosamine phosphate, copper lysinate slash prolinate, dipropylene glycol, adenosine, polyglutamate, yeah, polyglutamic acid, tocopherol, uh, gluco gluto gluconolactone, 1 2 hexanediol. Oleal alcohol, trehalose, PEG slash PPG 18 slash 18 dimethicone, polysilicone 11, soybean seed extract, chondrus crispus extract, I don't know, sodium benzoate, sodium citrate, phenoxyethanol, and potassium sorbate. So, the main, like, wrinkle warrior, so to speak, that's in this is your hyaluronic acid. And for that, you will see results even on the first use. But that's true of anything with hyaluronic acid. It holds a thousand times its molecular weight in water. I did a whole video on this for you guys. So you're always going to see immediate results. It's why people are so always like so tripped out when they first try something that's got that ingredient in it. They're like, wow, look how plump and youthful my skin looks. It's like, yes, that is literally what that ingredient does. There is many, many, many products similar to this one on the market for way less money that do the same thing. I got this through Ipsy, so thankfully I didn't pay the full price. So I do note, this right here reminds me of the I Do Care logo. Just a thought. Just throwing that out there. So for 88 bucks, you get this little bitty thing. It's not very big. This is full size. I love the pink packaging, though. That is... That is really cute. But yeah, so it's got like the little plastic stopper in the top, which since there's still so much that gets on it every time I go to use it, I'm still at the point of keeping that on there and just taking it off this when I go to use this. I will say that there is a scent to it. I don't find it offensive, but in many reviews I've seen, people are not a fan of this scent. I don't feel like it's that bad. I feel like it's okay. It's like a little bit herby, like there's nothing wrong with this. But anyway, so it is like a gel, just so we're clear, it is a gel. And um, so for the before and after, the smile lines you can see before, they're not as bad on this side, they're worse on this side just naturally. Uh, forehead wrinkles aren't looking as bad today in general, but just saying, for before and after. I'm gonna put this on. Da, 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 da. Making sure to hit the smile lines. Make sure I got it on that side too. I'm not getting it in the eyes, but making sure around the corners we do have it in use. I'm not going to do the eyelids, though. That just 
Seems a little too close for comfort. I'm, I'm like, let's not play games with that. So. Okay. Do the neck too while we're at it. Because most people forget to do their neck, and I have prominent wrinkles there. I have since my teens because of poor posture in my my development years, so that's on me. So anything that could potentially help those would be great, but I think they're too deep to really do anything about, unfortunately. So, oh well. So, okay, we have applied it. It feels nice and cool on the skin even without having had it in a skincare fridge yet. Uh, that's just the nature of the product. It almost feels like there's the teeniest bit of, like, cooling, tingling sensation with it. Um, nothing crazy, but yeah, so just give it, like, a few minutes to sink in, um, before I'll lean in closer to the camera and let you see if it seems like it did much. <laughs> I know that they don't seem as pro uh, pronounced today as they often do just in general because I've been using this lately. That's the other thing with products that have that ingredient in them. While you continue to use them, you reap the plumping benefits. When you cease using them, it goes back to how it was before. It's not like you're permanently turning back the clock. It is definitely temporary. That is the nature of hyaluronic acid, unfortunately. Now, I will say, even when it dries down, it's going to leave a slight tacky texture. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. Again, there are cheaper hyaluronic acid creams that do the same thing as this on the market that don't stay feeling sticky, so I mean... Just saying. I mean, this does work and does what it claims to do, but you can totally do the same thing for cheaper. But at the same time, if you have no qualms spending $88 on a face cream, knock yourself out because yes, this does do what it claims to do. It's not a lie. It does work. It does work, but weigh your options. Just, just saying. I mean, especially in this economy, if you can save some money, why wouldn't you? So, leaning in, already I feel like the one on this side is not as prominent looking as it was even just a few minutes ago. And as it settles in more and more to the skin, um, it's going to get better and better. Now, if I had done this immediately right after washing my face like I should have, you'd be seeing even more pronounced of a difference. Because, again, hyaluronic acid loves to bind to moisture molecules. So if there's even a slight dampness to your face from having just washed it, you didn't like dry it bone dry, it's got a little dampness to it, it's going to suck that moisture into your skin. So right after moisture, or not moisture, <laughs> right after washing your face, or right after getting out of the shower is a perfect time to use this stuff because it's going to pull all that moisture into your skin. Um. However, if you live in a really dry climate or somewhere, or actually, I'm trying to remember if it's a dry climate or a humid climate, one or the other, it'll do the opposite <laughs> and pull moisture out because it's trying to bind to what's there. So I think it's dry climate, if I remember right. So I don't know, maybe it's humid. Revisit my video on hyaluronic acid for the correct answer because it's been a while <laughs> since I've rushed up on this But I do know that if there is any moisture on your skin at the time when you use a product that has hyaluronic acid That is a wonderful thing It will do even more than using it on its own. Obviously there is moisture in the gel So I mean even using it on its own it'll do some but you can maximize the benefits if you time it correctly with when you like clean your face and everything so but yeah, I mean, like I said, it does do it does do things. I just don't feel like it's worth $88 to do those things when I know darn well you can get the same exact effect. And I mean, same is same exact. I have seen it many times over with drugstore versions of things. <laughs> so, if you don't have 88 bucks to spend, don't worry. Literally just find anything that's got hyaluronic acid in a face cream. 
I personally like Pacifica. I think they have a really good one. But again, loads of options out there. You do not have to just go by my recommendation. Hyaluronic acid is pretty much one of those ingredients where it's hard to get it wrong. It's hard to get it wrong. So, <laughs> anyways. Do I like it? Yes. On its own merit, would I give it five stars for how it works? Absolutely. However, I do feel it's overpriced, but that's the brand. They're a spendy brand, so of course it's going to cost that. So, just saying. I do give it a five star, but I also feel like you could definitely do the same thing without this and do it a lot cheaper. So, that's my caveat. Take it for what you will, but if you're attached to this one and you're cool with spending $88, by all means, definitely go do that. I'm not here to tell you to not buy this, because it does work. It does work. But just, there's plenty of things that do the same thing that don't leave that tacky texture behind. I feel like that texture has more to do with it being a gel than anything else, because I also noticed that with the Illamasqua um, hydrating gel, it also kind of does that to a very similar degree. But the trade-off is that it also makes this a great primer for face makeup. So, like, if you're putting foundation over this all over your face, oh, yeah, it's going to sit great. It's going to be just like that Illamasqua. And I have tested that, too. So, just saying, there's a time and a place, and there is things that make that tackiness worth it for you. So, if you wear a full face of makeup, like, every day, and you don't mind spending $88, actually, this might be a really, really good option for you. So... Just saying, just weigh the way that you use your makeup, you use your skincare, and what you're willing to budget for, for if it seems like this product's right for you. So, anyway, those are my thoughts. <laughs> Take them or leave them. So anyways, that's it for this one, guys. As usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you tried this one? What did you think of it, good, bad, or otherwise? Let me know, as well as anything about anything. Uh, especially if you also are aware of good, cheaper dupes for this one that you'd like to share with anyone browsing the comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments, too. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.